Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So here uh, I'm going to call the library service in the student service. In the last video, I showed you that how we can call the book service in the library service. Similarly, we'll call the library service into the student service. So let me go to the IntelliJ. Let me see if it is open or not. So the student service application is not open. So let me come here to the file. Let me go to the open recent and let me see. So this is the application that we develop. So let me open it. And uh, let me brief about this first and then so you can see student table we have created in the application dot properties file you can see this is the database that i was using a student service app and i have inserted couple of record and this is the mysql database okay so let me go there it is the database table is there a student table is there let me try to fire this query and show you so these two records are there now coming to the intellij and this application student service application is uh, running on the port number 9091 so let me uh, do the development first and then i will try to run the application and try to hit the api so similarly how we uh, try to call the book service in, inside the library service same way i am going to call the library inside the student service so let me uh, for that what i need to do i need to do a one mapping of the library to the student and so for that we need the student entity sorry library entity inside the student so before going there let me create the uh, reference of the library here in the student entity so let me create library library and let me copy this from the library service the entity of library okay and then paste it into the student service so i copy it come to the student service copy and paste to the entity in the student service edit okay now coming to the student service let me do the mapping for it so let me right click so i'm going to do one to one mapping so it is map and this is the foreign key for this okay now coming to the library it is having book so we need to include the book also in this uh, student service entity sorry student entity yeah so let me go to the book service copy the book entity and let me paste to the student service so go to the student service application go to the entity and paste it there add it okay so i think now we are good now come to the student controller i am here in the get mapping i am going to call the library how we call the uh, book inside the library similar way i am going to call the library inside the student so for that what i am going to do uh, before going to call uh, we need to have the rest template configured in our application so i am going to the student service application so in the last video also i told you that if you don't want to configure the rest template here in the main class so you can separately create a package config and there you can create a class and put the at the rate configuration on top of that class and then you can configure those things there but i'm doing here so let me create the rest template method which is returning a instance of rest template okay so let me create it so it is rest template and its return type is public sorry modifier is public let me create a let me return a new rest template object from here and uh, at the top of this method let me create a bean because we uh, we want the bean of it and let me do this as a primary so that whenever we are calling the rest template it will get it from here so coming to the student controller let me what i need to do let me call let me create a library instance and let me call the library api using the rest template so for that what i need to do i need to auto wire the rest template here in this class so copy this 
paste it here let me change it to the rest template and let me change this reference to the rest template also and with the help of the rest template reference we have a method get for object so I am calling that and there we need to pass the URL and the class name so let me pass the class name which is library here library.class and in the URL we need to pass the URL of the library mapping so come to the library service I'm going to call this uh, library method okay so for that this is the API so for calling the library uh, library is up on the port number 9092 and this is the class level mapping for that so I'm going to create the URL for this uh, you can come to the postman and you can see if it is there or not so for library it is there let me copy it from here and let me go to the student service and uh, where it is yeah here in the URL you can paste it out so till here uh, this is the class level mapping and uh, after that if you are going to call the get mapping method that we have created into the library controller so you can use this or uh, and what I'm going to do I'm using the student ID as a uh, reference to the library ID so because we have mapped it one to one so student ID is mapped to the library ID and if I'm uh, sending the student one then it will go to the library table as a library one so for student one we have mapped library one of uh, record and for the library one we have mapped the book one record so this is how the mapping is done which is a one-to-one -one mapping let me try to pass the id here so it is passed let me put the semicolon so we are calling we are getting the library object here now uh, let me create a student object and with the help of the get student by id i'm calling the student from the database and let me set the library for the student so go here and let me pass the library reference here and simply return the student reference so we are done with this okay now let me see if other application are up or not so this this is up and book is up library is also up i think let me go yeah i think it is up now coming to the student service we made made the changes now uh, let me try to run on the student service and then try to hit this api uh, of the student so let me go to the postman let me make these changes so student service is up on the port number 9091 and class level mapping is student and here what we need to provide we need to provide the uh, we are going to uh, fire the get mapping so for that the mapping is student capital s and then we need to pass the id so this is the mapping for it so come to the student service application let me enable it it is up on 9091 this is the mapping that i'm going to use and the class level this is the mapping so we are going to fire this mapping now and it will call the library and then it will call the library will call the book so let me go there and where it is let me go to the postman student is student one and i'm going to send this okay it is giving internal server error let me come to the student and let me see how it is behaving so not found library library okay we are not passing the url uh, sorry the slash here so that is why it is not picking up let me uh, try to stop and rerun this application again and try to hit this so this is the silly mistake that i did so now coming to the postman uh, it is up on 9091 let me send it and let me show you so you can see that uh, we are calling the student id1 we are calling the student uh, for with id1 and we are getting the result of uh, student record and for the library uh, we are passing as a id1 so we are getting the library with the id1 and similarly for the uh, for the book also we are getting uh, with the id1 so we are done like whatever id this is a one-to-one -one mapping with the each of the services so student 
is mapped to the library and library is mapped to the book so whenever i am passing the id as one so it is picking up the student with the id one and displaying its record and in the li uh, it is also going to the library picking up the id one library and then going to the book and picking up the id one book so this is about the internal calling of the of the microservices so if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content in the next video i am going to cover how we can create the eureka server and how we can register all this application that all the services all the microservices that we have created to the eureka server so please like the video